Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the third episode of the Weapons, Items and Suits Showcase. For this one we'll be covering the Assault Rifles. And for the Assault Rifles category we only have five in the game and four of them are basically different variants of the same weapon. And for the first Assault Rifle we'll be covering is the TAC-4 AR Auto. You have this uh, already in your inventory from the very start. You don't have to do anything specific to unlock this uh, particular weapon. And this is actually what it looks like in game. Now it looks pretty good, it's quite bulky, uh, it looks almost like the shotgun that we have already in the game as well. This is what it looks like when you aim down sight. We do start off with quite a few rounds as well, so we have 90 as you start off and 30 in the magazine, which is very very good. We'll be testing the range here from this point, it does seem like a pretty good vantage point for this particular test. And it does have pretty good range, it's one of the best in the Assault Rifles category. And it seems to me when you one burst it, it will kill most people at most ranges. Um, it seems to me after the second bullet is shot from the gun, it will kill the uh, kill any uh, the people you're shooting at. So it is a pretty powerful weapon. The next one is the RS-15, which is unlocked at Mastery Level 10 in Colorado, and it's a modern edition of the widely distributed assault rifle, fully automatic, equipped with an effective suppressor. Now it's a quiet suppressor and it will, with reduced range, so any suppressed weapon in the game will uh, decrease the range of the weapon. But this is what it looks like in game. It looks kind of bulky and ugly to me. Uh, I don't know what your guys' opinions is, but this is what it looks like when you aim down sight. And one problem I have with this is he's got his hand on the clip, and usually when you shoot uh, shoot assault rifles, it, the clip gets incredibly hot. So it wouldn't really make sense to hold onto the clip. You'd ha hold onto the grip or a foregrip if you have one. But uh, the range on it is not very good either. It's got quite a lot of recoil as well, which I'll show you a little bit further into this clip. But the, the, the power is quite is quite bad as well. I think this is probably the worst assault rifle in the category. I do not recommend unlocking this assault rifle at all if you want to go around killing everybody. And as you can see here, the damage itself is very, very poor. And this is the recoil on it and the spread that it gets from it. It's not particularly the best assault rifle in the category at all. Next assault rifle, we have the TAC-4 AR Stealth which is unlocked at Mastery Level 20 in Marrakesh and it's a modern bullpup assault rifle, fully automatic with a powerful suppressor attached to it. So uh, any suppressed weapon in the game, uh, including this assault rifle, has reduced range but it does sound an awful lot like a pistol, that you're firing an automatic pistol. But this is what it looks like in game, it's one of the best looking assault rifles that we have. Again it looks very, uh, you know, it resembles a lot like the NRAM HV that we have. This is what it looks like when you aim down sight. I prefer this black colour to the original, was it purple or blue, color, bluish colour that we have. But again, we start with 90 rounds, 30 in, in the magazine that we have. But the range on it is not that great for this particular assault rifle. Uh, again, it's not really an assault rifle I recommend. It is definitely better than the previous one the, that we did show, the RS-15. But um, if you are going for a, a basic assault rifle, uh, this is the first one you should be going for, really. But it's obviously not the easiest one to get. And I'll explain that in the next clip that we just shown here. But the range is not that great either. And it seems to me it's a three, uh, three shot kill for this particular assault rifle. It could very be a two shot. But it, three, it bursts out three shots at once anyway. And I'll show you the spread over here when we come through this area over here. And the spread isn't that bad. The recoil isn't that bad either. So it was a pretty solid assault rifle. Um, and it's the best one in the category I've covered so far. So the next one is the TAC-4 AR Desert, and you unlock that by completing the Master Fortune Tal Challenge Pack in Marrakesh. And you want to unlock this assault rifle. And it's essentially the same as the other one before, it has a slightly different uh, description. This is a fully automatic assault rifle, accurate and stable with excellent damage. Now it does uh, have a different description to the previous assault rifle that we did, but from testing it seems like it's a very very uh, similar, well pretty much exactly the same assault rifle, it's just a different skin on it. It does look uh, a lot better than the other one though, I do like the, quite the pattern that's on this one. That's what it looks like when you aim down sight. Again we start with the same amount of rounds, again 30 in the magazine as well. But uh, doing the range testing here, it does seem like it's uh, essentially the exactly the same assault rifle really. If anything it's, it's even a little bit weaker. Just judging from uh, the shots I'm, take, I'm taking right here. I mean, if you guys are a better shot than I am, that's fair enough. But I'm not very good at uh, shooting with the assault rifles in this game. But it is quite a fun assault rifle to use. 
So if you haven't got any other sort rifle, I'll choose this. So again, I can show you the recoil and the spread. The power isn't very good, but as you can see, that kick there. It's not the worst recoil in the category. Again, I'll give that to the RS-15. But uh, the next one we got is the TAC-4 SA, which you unlocked at Mastery Level 20 in Colorado. It's a modern ballpup battle rifle, semi-automatic, accurate with a good range and excellent damage. It's got also got the steady aim perk, which when you hold the R2 button, you can you know uh, close the crosshairs to make it even more accurate. And it has a good, uh, a good suppressor on it as well. So this is what it actually looks like in game. It does look like a lot like the TAC-4 uh, stealth that we already have. But that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you aim down sight. It has a lot of added scope onto it as well. Just to uh, for that steady aim perk. And this is the best thing about it. It's essentially a one shot kill from most ranges. If you can get headshots, uh, you know, halfway across the map like that. You'll get them most times. It's incredibly powerful. It's a semi-automatic, so you have to tap the trigger rather than just hold it. But it's a one-shot kill from most ranges, from uh, close to medium. And for long ranges, as long as you squeeze that trigger when you're going for the headshots, you should get the headshot. Oh, that's not a very good example there. Kind of missed him there. But obviously, if your aim's a lot better than me, then then great. Um, you don't you don't start off with many rounds. You only get 40 and 20 in the magazine. But uh, if you can pick up some assault rifle ammo around or off the guards and things like that, then you'll have a lot of fun using this assault rifle. It's definitely my favourite assault, assault rifle. It's, it's superior to any other assault rifles in my opinion. And this is what it's like when you have to, if you tap it. It has quite a lot of recoil, but I don't see why any, any reason to be doing that when it's essentially a, a one-shot kill kind of weapon. And I will show you an example of that right now. It is a very, very fun weapon to use. So as you can see, the sheer amount of power you can generate from this assault rifle is insane. From short to medium ranges, like I said, it's a one-shot kill. Uh, whether you shoot them in the chest, the arm, the shoulder, it's, it's, you get one-shot kills for days. And it's incredibly fun to use. Obviously, from the longer ranges, you're going to have to be a little bit more accurate when it comes to your headshots and things like that. But it, luckily, it does have that steady aim perk, which can help you out immensely with that. And it's that powerful, this gun. It's like a mini sniper rifle. That's how powerful this actual gun is. And it's incredibly fun to use. It's definitely my favourite assault rifle in the category. And it's one of my favourite weapons in the entire game. If you want to get hold of this assault rifle, you're going to have to unlock Mastery Level 20 in Colorado. I can understand it's very, very frustrating to get the challenges done in Colorado. And it's, it, can, you know, it can be very much of a grind. But I assure you, it's definitely worth it when it comes to this weapon. You can have so much fun with it. Especially during killer more challenges. Just going around the map, quickly taking out enemies just like this. But uh, yeah, that's, this is definitely my favourite assault rifle. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. And the next video I'll be covering the sniper rifle. So just let me know in the comment section what is your favourite assault rifle and which assault rifle you're more likely to get now after seeing this video. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.